So here we go, round one of NS versus AVM. AVM coming in here as the only wild card seed team remaining in the event. Uh, I believe that you said they were 18th seed coming into the playoffs and NS being third seed. Uh, second Correct. only to, to AM at this point with Immortals being eliminated uh, with an early upset in the playoffs. AVM coming out with an STB, three Bat Chats, and three IS-7s. And NS, they're pulling out the Stritzwagen, an Object 140, two Bat Chats, two IS-7s, and a 113. So Looking I down. See, that's yeah. interesting that... NS has gone with a Stritzwagen on the west spawn. We've seen it used on the east spawn many times. You, uh, you maybe think they're, they're going to use the position that we saw that uh, that uh, gorilla in. That is my that is my bet. That looks <laughs> he's like heading where he's straight going. there. Joker's, yeah, Joker's is going to give him a boost. It looks like. No, it's so. This is really interesting because NS is. Even though they're number three seed, they're generally considered to be the team that's actually the best team. The AVM guys here, being the underdogs, but having some former guys from the, some of the best Russian teams of the past, this is actually a, could be a really, really tough fight for NS. And look at that. Kaiser took Early three damage. hits there already. Wow. He is, Who is yep, hitting him? AVM has punished Kaiser. Homotogen? Maybe that was homotogen, but I'm not positive. We're going to pronounce these things differently all series long. I'm just, I apologize That's to any, okay. of the, any of the AVM players that I butcher their names for, or any of us butcher the names for. So we'll see now that that Stritzwagen is in place, how AVM is going to react to that. AVM, pretty happy with the okay, early I've... damage lead. Kaiser's on half health. You so I've just, I, I, I've been told that the uh, translation of NS from its Latin is more correctly translated to second to none rather than never second. Uh, so a small difference there. Same general gist though. It easily, uh, easy to understand the assumption never second being NS, the acronym made more logical sense, but Latin never makes any logical sense. <laughs> and I'm no expert on Latin, so... So, Valder took some hits in reply. This is... I'm gonna see what kind of angle of shot here the SDRV has. I'm gonna zoom in on him. He doesn't quite have good oh, cap shots, Oma... you can see. Omaposal had some cap pressure started, but he decided to pull up. I think he got nervous because he's spotted. Well, early in the match like this, taking the cap is very unlikely. Uh, so it's it's probably best he takes he uh, conserves his health at this point. It's a tough call, right? Because you know the earlier that timer gets started, the earlier you force the enemy's hand, right? It's true. We're saying how NS is a reincarnation of some older teams. You can, just looking at these guys, they have a lot of experience in the uh, very, very late tournament spots. I mean, a lot of these guys are repeat championship winners. Uh, and, and uh, you know, these guys know how to win. For sure, and they've played under pressure more times than I can count. I've seen these guys pull games where I thought the cap had already expired, and the next thing you know, they've cleaned up three tanks that were on the cap, and you're like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> and the game ends, and you thought that it was a cap win, but all of a sudden it's a kill win for for, for these, these guys here. It's one of those seldom seen rules in the game mechanics is that if you're on the cap 
and somebody on the cap as it, if somebody on the cap dies the cap does not actually credit for five seconds and so you can actually keep a string of deaths going to extend the capture by several seconds if you can manage to do that so 22 seconds on this cap remaining the strv hits a... avm is up one kill to zero Genuine Jokers was the tank to fall. Kaiser, the one that took to the early it. damage, is Nine still alive. Seconds. Five, or no, they got a reset, partial reset. Here comes EK. Yeah, EK Three sitting there is, is going to neutralize the cap. He doesn't have to get any damage, yeah, he just has to sit in the circle. I don't know if he could hold it very long, though. He held it long enough for them to reset it, though. Uh, he's ammo racked, and he's getting pinched by a bat chat and an STB-1. He won't last very long unless Kaiser can save him. No, AVM made a Kaiser's great play here best. to bait him in. He needed to. It was a great play by EK to get the, the cap reset, but Lucky AVM no played that very Lucky well. Alive. AVM sets That the... rupture's going down. Yeah! Boozler. Off by himself with virality in behind oh, him. Wow. This is the first time I've actually been able to watch AVM in action. I've seen the scores coming in, but having seen the way they played this, these guys are really good. Who was the who was the um, division winner of their um, bracket? OWS. OWS, okay. Because these guys do not look like a wild team. card team. <laughs> no, not at all. Well, I want to say that loss to OWS was really early in the season, too. So they may have still been getting the kinks out in their team, right? Uh, or maybe even just an off week where they didn't get all seven guys in. And I've seen that where yeah. a team only, for whatever reason, the schedule just has five guys on it for that one week. And they get a loss just, just, just because, you know. Because these guys have come out, they've got a four tank lead, they've got all the cap pressure. It's looking, looking really good for AVM right now. Three minutes remaining on the clock. God goes down. Sounded awkward. <laughs> you don't want to get too antsy here though, because these NS guys, like we said, can pull things that's out right. of nothing. You cannot... That's right, you get cocky and they will punish you. So, you know, Homotogen's got to watch out, right? Because he's going to get overmatched right here. This is a way to give up, give up well, the lead real fast. If he wants Boozler while Boozler's on a reload. He I does. think he's going to get him. He is he is going to get Boozler as long as he doesn't miss this next shot. Oh, hits oh, the track. Oh, he rammed for the kill. There he yeah, goes. He got another round. Okay. <laughs> Virality and the Sturve on top of that hill are the only two tanks left for NS. Yep. Now, Vitality can spot that cap, but I don't think they're going to be able to, I don't know, unless they get really lucky, the cap is going to click off here. Three, two, well, clearly AVM one. is not afraid to use the cap. Cap has they're been one. They're playing every way they can play. Now, Oprah had told us that that's how they defeated NFTG in the Elite Eight round. All right, so a, <laughs> all a cap all win for AVM in round one. And um, look at that, Homotogen, 4,200 damage and four kills to lead wow. the charge. He was the person last, the last match I moderated with them. He was, like, consistently doing really well. Like, he's a really good player. So Agreed. everyone, everyone watching this in replay... If uh, if AVM is the team to take out NS, Homoto Homo Homotogen is going to be on their radar in the finals. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting to see who you know. Well, we're getting way ahead of ourselves, right? We are. NS we are. Is this is a... not out of this by any. That's just game one. <laughs> that is just round one, yeah, but sure that, that is a big round one, and you know, like that's going to be the first round watched in replay. And I mean, this is an eight, sure. sorry, this is a nine round series. So it's a five, five wins to take the series. It's a long way to go. And as we've said many times, NS is full of 
very good players and very, very yes. um uh players that have put a lot of time into this game, you know, they've been around for for three seasons, four plus years, you know. Yep. Um all right, we're going into round two, second side of Sand River. AVM winning the first side, their map choice. Let's see if they can keep this ball rolling. Well, we've got NS coming out of the gate here with three bat chats, two IS-7s, a Chieftain, and a 113. AVM coming out with an STB, three bat chats, two IS-7s, and a Chieftain. Very similar, just trading the STB-1 for the 113. And I'm curious if Jokers is going to go up to that uh, top of the hill position up there. No, he doesn't have anyone to boost him up there, so I don't think so. I noticed that NS did not pull the Stritzwagen out again. Jokers climbing on the A-line mountain range. AVM staying to the south side of the river, the dried up riverbed. I uh, heard a uh, sound of a shot bouncing off of somebody. I didn't see it. It was a shot fired at God right PSIX, and it was actually bouncing off hom Homotogen who is undetected. <laughs> they just happened to be in the line of fire. <laughs> You gotta be careful. He is sitting right in front of that God PS6, isn't he? Yeah, now he's detected. Yeah, Genuine's in a pretty good position to spot across there. So I wonder if NS, after seeing that last battle, decided that that Stritzwagen strat just kind of tied him down too much. I've always felt that NS is best when they're open field maneuvering and pulling. NS is really spread out. You've got two guys in the ditch just below the cap circle. They've got three mediums over in the dunes. Uh, actually, I'm calling out AVM's locations. I just I realized that I had just followed that up with your announcement of a NS being spread out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're both spread out. Um, looks like NS is probably the more spread out of the two. Well, generally this map, well, the south, the the team that positions on the south side spreads out more. Um, it's more common on the north side to kind of stay a little more clumped up and. I agree. The difference is that southeast corner, and NS has seized that southeast corner. The question is, given the heavies that are out there, does that open up an opportunity for AVM to possibly push one flank or the other without all the heavies being able to get in a support position in time? Well, Alex... Alex Labed was detected there for a while. Goozler or Booze? Julius Boozler. I kind of mixed that up. Here comes cap pressure. <laughs> He's trying to get shots down that uh, zero lane. Or sorry, the, the JK lane. Uh, Axel zero. Bud took a shot. He's reversing and serpentining. Everyone's playing just yes. outside of each other's view range. Yep. Makes it very difficult to catch everybody on stream. These guys, it's, I mean, these guys are playing outstanding tactics here and, and spreading out taking Absolutely. lots of map control, but it's, it's frustrating as a streamer. They're not worried streamer. about, yeah, they're not worried about viewer pleasure. They just want the win. <laughs> well, it still ends up being great. Great, uh, great matches for the viewers. Uh, it just makes my job a lot more tedious. For sure. 
trying to fly back and forth, show you, and then, and then the push will happen so quickly. It'll, it'll just happen so quickly. They're getting a second team on. All right, look at that. They got two on the cap now, but Ralder got spotted when he stuck his nose up there. So yeah, he's like barely able to get on cap without getting spotted. Both of their guns pointing this way, waiting for virality. See, they're they're waiting for virality and Kaiser to make a push. Kaiser's gonna try. Yeah, Kaiser's gonna make the spot. I think that's what he's pushing up for. Kaiser and Virality both detected. Virality, Ooh, virality gets hit. took a hit. Kaiser's Track looking looks for like cover in the there. ditch. He's going to get in yep, for the Kaiser's proxy Kaiser's going to try spot. and spot up the top side. Kaiser's got to be careful, though. If those I-7s both come down on him, yeah, he could be in a world of hurt real fast. He gets oh, hit. The ammo rack. Now, do they, they keep the, spots, the cap though. pressure going for a minute, or do the they push in? Took, yeah, Ralder's, Ralder's taking hits. They're focusing Ralder down. He's the more exposed of the two. AVM's got their mediums oh, in position. They're trying to do, push to it on Kaiser. Two. Kaiser's getting melted. He got the cap pressure yep. eliminated, though. And the damage is very even. Uh, 5% yeah, lead for ABM AVM. does have the advantage at this point. But look over here on the two line. God is getting over what matched by three bat chats. He's that is, go down. That is way goes. off of my camera range. Not getting there in time, but thank that you, Pat, is... for pointing that out. <laughs> That's <laughs> NS saying, hey, if they've got an advantage here, we've got an advantage there. NS has a 8% health lead here. A AVM very... It's pretty Very, even now. Yeah, they're trying to keep that lead or that uh, spread even. Ouch. They take a two tank AVM lead. Is really. Olma still has most of his health, too. Ninja's going to take out the STB. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. I am sorry. Klimaseek or something it, like that? Kaleidoscope. <laughs> Didn't mean to make you laugh there, Vanilla. Four to four, <laughs> almost even health. This is this is gonna be a close one. AVM slightly ahead in damage, but that's just basically a single shot. EK and Ch and Ninja, very healthy, looking to take a, sh a kill shot from the bat chat in the rear, or even sneak in on Raider in the IS-7. There's a one-two. Uh, Raider's gonna go down here. EK is gonna take him out. Oh, he bounces. Oh, he missed the first shot or bounced it. Got him. Oh, NS. He's gonna go down with some bat chats. Doing what they do best and pulling the victory out. That was an excellent comeback by NS. AVM had the advantage. Two they tanks over, remain though. for AVM. Three to two. They're both single shots. Even a ram would kill either one of them, it looks like. Daddy Rev and his bad chat coming in through the buildings looking for that spot and a quick shot. Yep, Denchik has just got right spotted and there. he goes down. Omatogen going for a run. Narrowly avoids being detected by EK Games. They both spot yeah, each other is. there. EK Games. EK's going got to... the angle. There it is. Got it. Excellent comeback by NS. That evens the series up one and one. This bodes well for the rest of the series. These are clearly two excellent teams. And Rupture takes the game title on this one. Wow. 4,322 damage in his chieftain. He saw he saw Homotogen's 4, 4K game in the first round and said, I see that 4K game and I'm going to put 43 up on that board. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the Homotogen still had a great game at 3,302 kills. He did. Yes, he did. That's an odd one. Denchik. Or Denchik, yeah. He only... He got eight shots off, five hits, and no pens. Wow. Oh, my goodness. He wants those... RNG may have been the difference in that battle. He wants those shots back. Oh, those Looks are like always we're going tough. to Prokhorovka. Prokhorov, Prokhorov, 
pro pro blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that map. And we're tied at one apiece, <laughs> NS's choice. And North is on the left side. NS has picked the map here for the second map of the series. The first map picked by AVM was split one to one. Uh, AVM pretty happy here going into this proc round because although it's NS's map choice, they just uh, clinched the win in the last series against NFTG on this map as their map choice. So uh, interesting for situation for them. Indeed. NS coming out here with an object 140, two bat chats, two IS7s, a chieftain, and a 113. So even NS is pulling out that 113. It's, it seems like it's becoming more and more popular. <laughs> yes, an AVM has four bat chats and three IS7s. The simple one. The one to call out. Now, just a note reminder to the viewers. Whoever wins this match will go on to the finals, but the loser isn't out. The loser still ha comes back next week to play the bronze match. And there is significant prizing up for grabs for the uh, third and fourth place as well. Oh no, Homotogen get, getting detected early on. Narrowly avoids getting, uh, getting hit. Well, he does get hit. His track goes out and he repairs it quickly, and he gets he away got a with hit there. one small hit. Not even loaded yet either. <laughs> yeah. Who was it that got that hit in? Was that uh, Virality in the 140? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It was from the far back. I, yeah, Virality. I was going to yep, say, he's that. not even on my render range at the moment. So NS has taken advantage of the field. They've, they've spread out, fanned out, taken the ball. They own the entire left side of the tracks. Uh, but yep. AVM. So AVM has the hill. I haven't seen many successful hill strategies, so I'm really curious to see what AVM has up their sleeve here. Well, they've got two tanks up on the hill there, two bat chats. But it looks to me like their strat is more hinging on the IS 7s being here. Yeah, I, I agree with you. If, if, if uh, NS tries to flank down the J line, then they've got the two bat chats on the hill to swing around and cover the backside. And they've got God Six over there to spot that early. Orality and Homotogen are gonna be sparring down here at the other end, it looks like. There's Homotogen and Virality both spotted. Virality took his shot and backed off. The advantage of being in the Russian medium of your choice, most commonly the Object 140. Much better gun handling. And uh, just the fact that you can throw shots like that. You can't do that in the bad chat because that's one of your five shots in your magazine. You know, you can't just right. willy-nilly take those shots, so. Oh, look at rupture here through the gap in the under the bridge. Oh, okay, took a shot, didn't connect. Hit the hill. Here comes Virality. He got one in. You're gonna pick so those away. Those bad chats up on the hill aren't covering Homotogen very closely. They had a chance at a shot there and Gave it up. Yeah, Homotogen is in danger. Well, he could I, get overmatched here if Ninja and Virality push together. I don't think Virality's going to come too far over that hill because he will get hit by the bat shots up top. He's playing it pretty safe. He got his pick in. He's He's got the health lead yeah. now. And I think he's just happy with that. You're not in a hurry. Raider or AVM is the only IS-7 to take damage, and NS is virtually full health, save one little damage there to, Goosley, to Goulias Boozler. Yeah, that must have been an HE round. Ooh, big shot there. Slim is sick. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Rupture must have picked him off. If 
Virality sneaking up, getting another pick. Omatogen does not have a safe escape route. Running through that riverbed, no, you can see from this angle how open his uh, retreat was. He's got to veer off to the left, and that's not a very advantageous spot, but at least he'll be alive. I think he's going to climb up into the corner hill. Still gets detected on the way going there, though. Swing back to the IS-7s for AVM. Still holding that spot, stopping NS from creeping over the tracks. Yeah, NS has the dominant position here, and they are just slowly whittling AVM away. It's only a matter of time till NS decides they've got enough of an advantage that they'll call a push. Now, an interesting note for everybody, and I guess this is a little uh, word for a sponsor. AVM is an actual sponsored team, Optomine company. I, I don't know too much about the company, but I do know that they are actually sponsoring the team. Well, that's really cool. Well, they're definitely... Uh... They're definitely They're getting their money's worth. <laughs> yeah, AVM, AVM sponsor is definitely uh, putting their money in a good place here because they are getting a lot yep. of good viewing time here. Homotogen finally went down. They're so patient, you know. Like I'd never seen them before, and I'm actually like super impressed with the AVM. Yeah. Yep, Homotogen's play was really the only huge mistake they've made. Femasic and, like, Marauder. that's his first mistake all day, like, that I've seen. And it, it wasn't so much a mistake by him as it was uh, a great read by NS picking him off. Like, they, they sent two tanks to the uh, A6 corner there, and it just completely nullified Homotogen. And... Yeah. I think also the tank selection played a part, right? That object 140 in that situation was able to just pick, pick, pick at the bat chat with that better, oh crud, there. I might have to mute myself here. NS with a huge health percentage lead here, over 30%. They have a gun advantage as well. Three minutes, just over three minutes remaining on the clock. Doesn't look like much is going to change here because NS is happy with their full health tanks and their tank lead. So AVM has got to do something and they don't have the position to make the move. Can't take cap. Agreed. And they <clears throat> can't, they, they got to take at least one tank out to tie it, two tanks out to, uh, to take the lead. Well, here comes a reality and a rupture. So AVM is kind of fading to the back side. Ooh, Axelbled gets nailed up top twice. NS, very patient here. I was expecting, I would have expected most teams to have pushed over uh, the tracks at the, uh, by this time. But NS, just patiently waiting. They're pinching in with Ruptured Ninja and Virality. And, you know, it's it's going to happen soon. You can see it. Uh, yep. Ru Rupture's going to well, take... If the, if the, the only way it's going to change the outcome is if AVM forces an flank and manages to get a couple quick kills and as every second ticks by that possibility shrinks well it's it's interesting Looks like axel blood will be lucky to survive daddy rev and genuine jokers have spent almost the entire game just sitting out here in the field stopping avm from really making any flank move they really did nothing but sit way yep. back and as soon as uh, avm came anywhere near the tracks there they were detected 
Here comes the push. NS is pleading, pleading yep. AVM out now. AVM's getting their shots in, but it's just too much to. to yeah, see, there's they got to kill at least. They're completely surrounded. There's shots coming in from three, four different angles. Daddy Rev over there. Yeah, AVM's. AVM strat, I just don't think was quite what the, they needed against NS. It's always fun watching two bad chats chasing each other while both on reloads. Yeah, looks like Dad, Daddy Rev will reload first, it looks like. And he should be able to In take second him now. out with one shot. If he gets the hit, yep. He's aiming in. There you go. Right, that's NS. The seven one win for uh win in that round for NS, giving them the two one lead in the series. NS controlling that game from basically the beginning. They 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 took out uh Homotogen very early. He got caught in a in a very precarious situation in the in the riverbed. And after that, NS patiently just waited and slowly bled the health out of the AVM tanks up until the final seconds. You could hear the counter going down. Ninja getting 3,100 damage in that game. Virality, 2,800, and a pretty good even spread from the rest of his team. No one breaking 2,000 damage for, for AVM, though. Where do we sit on the codes right now? I'm about to give, give the, uh, the Moscow one away, I believe. Trying to remember, is that the third one or the fourth one you've given away today? Uh, I've lost track. It'll be the fourth, I believe. All right, we're loading round three of proc. AVM came swinging out of the gate, won the first round on Sand River. NS has come back and won the next two consecutive rounds to take the lead in the series. It's a best of nine series so first to five wins so plenty of series left to go here i mean it's it's anybody's series absolutely still. i've been you know despite ns in the lead i i do think you know as as a lot of viewers probably do thinks that they are the you know, most talented team and the most experienced team here i, I i'm really impressed with avm uh you know, they've, they've been a great matchup against ns to stream here AVM coming out with four bat chats and three IS-7s again. You don't think it was the tank selection that uh, filled them last time? I think it was just a strat. And I, 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 I think I'm going to agree. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you want to call out, NS? Oh, sorry. Busy looking at Discord. NS is bringing a 140, an STB-1, two bat chats, two IS-7s, and a Chieftain, and Homotogen takes some early damage there. Now, Vanilla Oprah was the one that got to watch AVM play against NFTG. Do you think, after watching the, f the start of both of these battles, do you think NS was able to take a quick look at what AVM had done? Because they seemed to know where Homotogen was going to be at the start of both matches. Is, is it the same I'm, as what he did last time? Thought. I don't think... I think he was the person... Yeah, he just was sitting on the cap. I believe he might have been the one that had capped for their winning battle. Well, he... Both I'm rounds here... To see that. He's gone to... And he's there E6. right now. From both here sides. Daddy Rev. And Daddy Rev is not spotted yet. This is, you know, almost the same as what they had last time, I believe. Well, similar to the first round we watched these two teams play, AVM has their IS-7s on the inside of the tracks, but this time they've actually put the cap pressure on instead of uh, driving past it. So there's just over two minutes on the cap there, Homotogen. That's a lot of time to cap, though. As Daddy he Rev. sat there the whole time in the previous match, like against an FTG. AVM falling back with the two bad chats on the hill there. Daddy Rev getting hit. Ooh, 
Who hit him? The IS-7s? That must be. I'm... Well, I don't know. Did the bat chat get... Did Gullius get some rounds into him? Other than the initial damage dealt to Homotogen and a pot shot or two to Daddy Rev, there's not much damage exchanged. Yeah, NS realizes they're going to have to push on the cap to get Homotogen off the... I mean, they only got a minute left, right? And it's a long so, time. <laughs> they got to get is. past three IS-7s. NS, but look at that. Daddy Rev is getting punished every time he tries to poke up and spot from the top. Kaiser's, this... Kaiser's looking for the spot, but he won't find it either. That building's perfect in the way. Yep, they... If they'd started right early, smash uh, blowing down the uh, buildings. So they're, they're they're adding the second vehicle to the cap to try and increase the speed. Ten seconds on the cap. Will AVM take this one by cap? Five. AVM oh, putting. Genuine. Genuine. Oh. oh. Homa still got it. Four, Four. three. Oh, There's the goes. reset. Oh. reset. But as this is happening, yeah, a so lot of health has been bled. Look at the health that's been bled. Yes. Now that the reset's gone, though, it's a question of positioning and health and guns and Kaiser and the guys look like they've got that advantage. AVM sold it all for that cap and, and Genuine got in there just in time. AVM's swap sides here and they've taken their IS-7s to the other side of the tracks and they've lost their bat chats. Got one left on a reload. He's yep. chasing down jokers. If he they did clean up the heavy battle, but he'll be lucky if he reloads in time to take jokers out before Kaiser and Daddy clean him up. Ooh. Bounces a shot. Get that shot in the jokers. Yep, there it is, but they'll easily take him down. Yep. So now it's two on four. And NS is going to have both mobility and view range on those IS-7s, so it's just going to be a painful working over, I think, at this point. So just like we called in the first round of the series, I believe it was, where we've seen NS go to the point where we thought the cap timer was over, and then next thing you know, <laughs> everyone's dead. And NS rises to uh, to the top. Uh, in those days, it wasn't NS, like I said, but it was the same core group of guys here. Ninja, Jokers, Kaiser, Boozler, and, 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 and so on. AVM's play almost worked, though. I actually thought the uh, is a one shot. The damage, ex damage exchange was going to go in AVM's favor when when NS had to rush in because they Kaiser and Daddy Rev goes down. Kaiser had to extend over the edge of that cliff. Uh, they had to send jokers in full speed to the cap and and it almost looked like AVM was going to take the advantage. Alma goes down. But and here comes Julius with all that experience was able to aggressively reset the cap and win the damage exchange. Ooh, that was close. They yes. take a three-one so three lead. lead. Yeah. But that was that very nearly went the other way. Kaiser getting four two 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 damage dealt, over four thousand damage dealt. Uh, have we had a four K game from at least one player every round so far? Uh, I, yes, I know we have. Well, I, know... I, I don't remember last battle. Yeah, the three out of four rounds sure. at least. 3,700 damage dealt by uh, Raider, or Ra Rad Raldor. I'm not sure if that's an I or, or an L, but... Uh... Yeah, it looks like an L to me, but I'm not positive. So... Capitalize, look. Looks like we're going to Overlord. Oh. And just to remind the viewers, we are running a manual timer right now because our usual automatic timer is uh, down. So some kind of server technical issue between that server and our Discord. 
He's so Vanilla's doing the timer by old-fashioned way. These teams I, I are very found... experienced, and they're, uh, they're, they're, they are they know what they want. They've got their tanks up there anyway. They don't need the full 90 yeah. seconds. Um, we don't see anybody doing any counter-picking. Right, we are going into round five. Three one lead for NS. Three straight wins for NS so far after losing the first round. AVM came out with a very impressive first round play. Uh, Overlord is now back to AVM's map choice, correct? Correct. Yep. So AVM looking to uh, get two quick wins here on their map choice uh, and even the series up going into uh, the, what would be the seventh round uh, but we'll see i've been watching these spawns on overlord and i've been noticing for the last several battles that i've seen on it the north side has consistently had the better the spawn as in terms of more uphill spawn NS getting that Norse spawn and having two bat chats and an STB spawn up there. They've got one other bat chat and two IS-7s uh, and the 113. Oh, Homa's going to find himself in trouble. I think he's going to die fast. AVM has chosen one he's bat spotted. chat, three IS-7s, is out of there, or does he... two 15B, and a 50 Playing a dangerous game, he has okay, the last Homa two did... rounds, but he Yeah, he serve. managed to get himself down, but that was... Yeah. That was dainty. But at the same time, that Little maneuver... going on there. That maneuver being... Like, he should have known being uh, spawned by himself on the, on the top of the map there, on the K0 corner, that he was alone. And by rushing forward and getting the early spot on those three mediums for NS, they, they stopped dead in their tracks. They didn't push on him. They um, did. They hesitated. You're right. So if if they were able to get over that hump there that they're stopped at, if they were able to get over that and have 100% knowledge that Homotogen was alone, you would have seen him pushed on. So it was kind of a gamble. He played it and won. That's uh, AVM. Well, except they've AVM lost the trade for... since then, so. This is true, but it did set AVM up for a better map position, I think, in the long term. AVM rotating. They took a 15B last time they played this map as well. Oh, he's getting melted here. Down to half health. Walks in the ruptured ninja as well. He's getting hit from every angle. Rattler here, ra Raider here. Yeah, they really wanted to take him out. He gets away with his with his life, but not much health. Oh, IS seven's got to be careful. They're gonna get. Uh... Some corner play going here. But STB1 can work that corner pretty well. Bounces off vi virality uh, from two or three different guns there. Virality just sneaking back in time to get the angle right. Kaiser comes over the Rodler top. Goes down. Takes out Rodler, but at, in the same time goes down himself. Pushing in on Goozler now, or Goolius. I always, I always combine the Goolius and the Boozler to make it Goozler. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, I know I'm doing it too. Like I, I subconsciously know I'm doing it. See an is a one shot. He's ammo rack too. I saw an ammo rack pop up for. Briefly there. 
AVM sending a big a medium around the outside here. Homotogen. Uh, there goes Klimasik. A one tank gun lead, but it's yep. pretty hefty spread on damage for NS. Yes, NS has had the damage lead pretty much since the beginning. And the gap has just widened as they have worked him over. Julius has a nice position here. He can peek over and take free shots. Looks like Axel Bed is getting clipped. Omatogen coming in for Rupture Ninja. 1v1 in Batch Hats here, and I think Homotogen does. He does take it. Caught ruptured. Uh, I think he caught ruptured off guard. He didn't think Homotogen was going to be that aggressive. Denchik's about to die, though. There he goes. Now it's cleanup time. Yeah, it was. It was well a. Well played by NS. It was an aggressive push by Homotogen to take out Ruptured Ninja, but ultimately, you know, he was... The match was lost with him out of the main fight. This Joker's gonna go off this the edge the... for the kill. <laughs> when we oh. first brought this map into competitive play, <laughs> we had a lot of naysayers about it, but the more it's been played, I've noticed it gets chosen a lot. I think it's a map with a high skill ceiling. It takes the spawns the really suck though, or they can well, the suck. randomness is yeah, the randomness of the spawns adds a nice little element to it. I think. <laughs> nice finish there for NS to take that round in a four-one lead. Indeed. I don't. Speaking of the spawns or whatever, I don't think the spawns are as bad as mines are though. I think mines has the most inconsistent. <laughs> 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 there's, a, there's a reason we don't run that anymore. <laughs> uh, Daddy Rev and Genuine Jokers both breaking 3k. Uh, EK Gaming's just you know 17 damage shy of getting 3k himself on the NS side of the match. Uh, over on AVM side, Raider getting melted early in the game, having goose eggs there. Three yep. of their tanks getting over 2,000 damage, uh, and then the other three just not quite putting. Uh, getting in enough output. Well, I mean, like Denchik, right? He survived most of the battle, got five shots off, and got all five hit, but only one was a pen. He must have been shooting so, at Virality uh, because I saw Virality. That's a good point. I'm going to look at him. He only, only bounced nine. Hadn't 980. sacrificed. He forgot to sacrifice his dissidents today. <laughs> Launched. I'm so sorry. We're going into round six here. NS with four round wins so far. Four straight wins after AVM getting the first round win. Uh, looking to put AVM out of the championship run and sealing themselves a position in the championship. The winner here goes on to the championships, obviously, and the loser will be playing in the bronze game. So this is the first time since the playoffs began that the losing team uh, will not be eliminated completely. They, the losers of the final Correct. four get to play uh, for third place against each other. So this is all about pride and how big of a prize pool they want at the end of the event. NS coming into the second round of Overlord with an STB, three bad chats, two IS7s, and a 1-1-3. All of them spawned down below. Did they have a single tank up top? Yes. Oh, they. Oh, they they're have... just off the edge. They're they're off the edge of my map. Out of your render range, yeah. Oh. Yeah, two up there. You guys are experiencing. <laughs> some issues in the uh, stream. Take confidence knowing that my recording Rowdy is going very Jokers well. Jokers just sat there in hiding, waiting for the bat chats to come forward. Omatogen, is, he's going to get ganked by G Genuine if he pokes his nose up. This is a really interesting start. Well, here comes the push. They're going to do it.
Oh, a ramo rack on Klimasik. He goes, goes down. down. That was a reckless push by AVM. NS doing a great job of rotating there. That was a really interesting strategy by NS. Keeping their two north spawn guys back behind the ridge there, keep them completely unspotted, baiting in the scouts on the enemy team. That was brilliant play calling. And it worked perfectly. And as um, sniffing victory here. Yep. All I have to do is decide the where they're going to make their push. Pushing through the middle, getting shots across. Radler does not have enough time to escape. He's on a reload and he's going to fall. He goes down. AVM with four tanks remaining, three IS-7s and 150B. 50B in the back here. NS is just swept across the map. They waited for AVM to push to them and, and then they pushed back and they haven't stopped since, <laughs> since they started. Alex is tracked, he repairs it and backs up. Ruptured ninja on the back in the back there, just sharking back and forth, looking for his opportunity to pounce once he's loaded. Ruptured ninja's gonna chase down the 50B. <laughs> he's going so fast. Run 50B. Yep. <laughs> FLC is gonna get. FDB is gonna be reloaded, so we'll see. He gets finished off down here. <laughs> Not gonna get there in time. Just barely. <sighs> Ruptured Ninja gets the winning shot. And, and S finishes the job. The first seven nothing win we've seen of this series. I mean, it's been a f it's been a five one uh, five one win for NS with those five wins coming uh, consecutively after AVM taking the first round. But, I mean, AVM has been there in every match up until this last one. I mean, this is the first one yes. I've really and seen I, a landslide for. It's been a great my series. My heart goes out to AVM because I know that once they saw, they saw their scouts get demolished up top there, then they knew. I mean, that's just that sinking feeling, right, that you get as a player knowing that, oh, well, that didn't work. Now we're screwed. <laughs> And it's so I, I I've been there. I know that feeling. Um, but they get to come back next week and fight for third place. And uh, it'll be interesting to see who that matchup is against. All right. Well, thank you for tuning into this battle. Put that up there as five to one. I like to do that real quick before I end this end the stream or end the uh, recording. 5-1. We got lots of damage dealt by NS. Everybody wanted to get the shot in there in that final round. Everyone breaking, yep. breaking a thousand damage. Uh, AVM, like you said, they had their scouts uh, melted early. And then Radler was caught you know, as the next tank in line and they just continued to push through. So NS taking themselves to the final. Uh, tune in next week. To and that. let the viewers know if you haven't been watching the other stream, Gucci's stream, that series, 